everybody, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Today is Friday, August 16th, and today we're going to take a look at jeans that sold on eBay in the past month. So I went back to uh, July 16th and pulled up some jeans. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to flip over to screen share in just a second. I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, jeans during the summer. They still move. They still will sell, just not as frequently, not as many as do in the fall and the winter. And something else I've noticed in a trend in the last couple of years, the higher end jeans, the luxury brands, the more expensive ones, don't seem to move as well in the summer. And then as we get into the fall and when we're really in the middle of the winter months, the jeans that sell for 40, 50, 60 and up will start to move a little bit more. But I feel like in the summertime, it's usually the bread and butter ones that move $20 or so and then any that I clearance out or discount deeply will move and I think it might be a mindset of folks just when it's warm out jeans are out of season they're not looking to spend a lot of money on them and they're looking for those bargains and those clearance out jeans um, just something I've noticed and um, we have sold a lot of our jeans that we have deeply discounted like rock bottom just to get rid of them you guys um, may have seen my live show Sunday night. If you haven't, I'll have it pop up here. It's a show everyone should watch. Um, it talks about behavior modification and how to get into good routines and habits as far as best business practices. And it gives tips and tricks on how to wrap up Q3 and prep for Q4 so that you can um, close out Q3 profitably and have a really successful Q4. Um, but one of the things I talked about in that live show was getting rid of your junk. And so we're doing that too. You guys know I never challenge you to do anything or teach you to do something that I don't try to or challenge myself to do. Um, so what I've done is I've taken a lot of jeans like the past month or two and knocked the price way down and then put a calculate, not calculated, a uh, flat, sorry, so I've knocked the price way down and put a flat $8 shipping rate on the jeans to cover the cost of the padded flat on blue that I mailed them in. They're like $7.50 or so to mail, but as most of you well know, when the buyer pays shipping, eBay and PayPal both still take their fees out of that. So I never do a flat cost of what it exactly costs to ship because I want wiggle room for eBay and PayPal to take their fees out. So I have dropped the prices on a lot of our jeans and put $8 shipping on it just to try to get them to move. Um, one, I want to get rid of the junk. I want to clear out our store before Q4. But two, knowing the mindset of people that they're looking for those cheaper jeans and the clearance jeans during the summer, it's hopefully attracting more people to buy off these jeans I don't want anymore. Most of the ones that you'll see um, that went for like seven fifty eight dollars bucks plus shipping have been around for a long time and I'm just trying to get our cost of goods back on them. And um, there's a couple that went for higher prices but like I said really in the fall as we get into like October, November is when I'll start to see most of the silver the miss me, the true religion, the really expensive jeans move. I just think people have a mindset that they don't want to spend a lot of money on something um, at a season, I guess. So let's take a look at the screen. These Lucky Brand Southside Zoe jeans sold for $21. I did accept the best offer on them. They were 99 cents at the Goodwill and they shipped in a padded flat. This pair of J. Crew jeans, I did accept the best offer of 16 on them. They're one of the um, stale items I'm trying to move, get out of the store. So I was happy to let them go for 16. Typically J. Crew actually does better on Poshmark and will sell for more over there. But I do like to put them on both platforms just so I don't have all my eggs in one basket. And when they do sell on eBay, they sit for a little bit and go for less than they do on Poshmark. Oh, these were 99 cents, sorry. The J. Crews were 99 cents and they did ship in a padded flat. 
These Riders by Lee I picked up because they were new at Tags and they were only 99 cents. And they did sell for $24.92. They also shipped in a padded flat envelope. These American Eagles were 99 cents at the Goodwill. They have some distressing and some rips. I did accept the best offer of 17 on them. They had a small stain on one of the legs that you can see here, which I did disclose, and um, they shipped in a pad of flat. These BDG Urban Outfitters came out of one of my thread up boxes. Um, typically, the items in the thread up boxes average out to $1.60, $1.70 depending on whether I had a free shipping coupon or not. And I did accept the best offer of 15 on these. Um, this is a brand I would not source. I don't even think I would pay 99 cents for these, to be honest. Um, I would totally pass on these at Goodwill, even if they were 99 cents. But they came in a thread up box, so I did sell them. Um, they shipped in a pad of flat. Michael Kors jeans I paid 99 cents for at the Goodwill. They were a good size. They were uh, plus size 14 and um, nice looking jeans. I like them. They're nice and dark and they have the wide legs. So these sold for $21. I accepted a best offer of $21 and they shipped it a pad of flat. These Massimo men's jeans were 99 cents at the Goodwill. I will pick up the Mossimo men's jeans um, when I find them for 99 cents. These ones have been around for a while. You can tell by the price. They were they started they started their life at 20, um, and they got lowered over time. They did sit for a while. They sold for 16.92 and shipped in a pad of flat. Banana Republic men's jeans. I picked them up because they were 99 cents and they were a pretty good size. They were size 36. Um, they were big enough that I could not get a get them all on my whiteboard. I take the photos on for the full length. You can see they're hanging up with the hanger hair. Um, they sold for $22 and shipped in a pad of flat. These Old Navy boys jeans, I bought them because they were new with tags. They were 14 Husky. 99 cents and they sold for $16.68 and shipped I don't know if they were yeah they went in a pad of flat they weighed over a pound alright these Gloria Vanderbilt jeans here were 99 cents at the Goodwill they were a size 16 and this next pair was also a size 16 and also 99 cents the same woman bought both. She sent an offer on the two of them at the same time. So I accepted her best offer on this pair of $7 and she paid an additional 8 in shipping. So this pair was 15 total. And I accepted a pair, I mean I accepted a best offer on this pair for $15.55. Um, so the two together were $30.55 and I did manage to get them in a padded flat envelope together. Um, how I did that because they're kind of a bigger size they're 16 I laid them on top of each other um, full length like all the way out like this photo here this one so I laid them one on top of the other and then folded them as if it was one pair and it I had to uh, warm the pad of fly up with a blow dryer if you guys don't know that trick you could put a blow dryer on low heat and blow it inside of a padded flat and it kind of gives you um, the ability to stretch it out a little bit more because it's kind of a plasticky bubble thing, bubble wrap type thing so when you warm it up it'll stretch way out but I did manage to get them in the padded flat together so you know $1.98 for both pairs 30, she paid 30 for both and they shipped together um, here's a pair of silver jeans that moved which is surprising this is a terrible picture one, it's surprising because that picture is awful. What am I thinking? Um, but again, typically our um, luxury brands and the more expensive ones really don't move that well in the summer. 
Um, but these sold with a bad photo and all. <laughs> they were uh, men's silver Grayson jeans. And they sold for the $44.54. Shipped in a padded flat. Um, I just showed these in a recent what sold video. I just wanted to show them again real briefly. Um, got them home. Realized I did, did not check them over well enough in the store. Both of them were blown out in the crotch area. Huge holes. Sold them together as a DIY crafting lot. And they sold for $18.70. And these I um, also got into a padded flat together. Um, they were 99 cents each at Goodwill. Moving on to these Calvin Kleins. These have been around for a long time. I think I even got them at our local Honey Pot Thrift. That like closed last July. Uh, they were 99 cents. And these were one of the ones I dropped the price on. Just to kind of get them to move. So they sold for $8.44 plus $8 shipping. These limited jeans were 99 cents. I think these were also from the local honey pot. We've got some old stuff in our store. And that's, you know, um, part of the reason I'm going through everything. And dropping prices and trying to get stuff to move. Because we've got some really old stale stuff. Um, and, you know, and if I could, can just make my cost of goods and a little bit of a profit just get them out that's fine with me I could take that money and reinvest it into better inventory um, so these sold for 750 I accepted a best offer of 750 and they paid 735 in shipping um, I believe these went first class and they were calculated yes so these were first class these didn't weigh a pound I had them in by weight calculated shipping so they paid 735 for their shipping these Deja Blue leopard print jeans, they're not that old. They haven't been around that long. They're skinny jeans. They're a smaller size. They're a four. And they sold for $13.36. They shipped first class. I believe these were like 10 ounces maybe. 99 cents at the Goodwill, if I didn't tell you that. These Lucky Brand jeans were 99 cents at the Goodwill. They're the Sweet and Low style. And these sold for $18.94. Shipped in a padded flat. These Tommy Hilfiger jeans have been around for a long time. Just like the Calvin Klein's. These came from our local Honey Pot Thrift. That has been closed for over a year. So that tells you how old they are. I also know they're that old. Because I do not source Tommy Hilfiger or Calvin Klein jeans anymore. Even if they're 99 cents, I pass them over. Um, the only exception to that would be if I found the vintage Hilfiger jeans from the 80s or 90s with the big spell out on them or whatever. Um, but I do not, I do not pick up Klein or Hilfiger anymore. I don't care if they're 50 cents. <laughs> I will pass them over because these are like almost, these are over a year old and so were the Kleins. Um, I dropped the price on these to $8.44 and they sold for that plus $8 in shipping. They were $0.99 cents originally. These Lucky Brand jeans were $0.99. Cents. They're the Easy Rider style, smaller size. They did sell for $23.16 and they shipped in a padded flat. These uh, truce jeans, I just picked them up because I thought they were cute. They were 99 cents. They're this nice plaid, red and black. They kind of remind me of the Hot Topic trip pants. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, they're cute. I figured somebody would like them. Paid 99 cents. They sold for $17.50. I took a best offer of $17.50 on them. And they shipped first class. We have these Wranglers boys jeans. I picked these up because they were 99 cents, new with tags. Um, these are more like shorts, but they sold for $13.12 and they shipped first class. Then I have these Lands and these are pretty old too. This is a brand I don't pick up anymore. 
um, especially in a size 12. So these were 99 cents and they sold for 18.70 and they shipped in a pad of flat. And lastly, we have this pair of guest jeans. Um, I still pick up guest jeans all the time, but if they're 99 cents, um, I won't pay more than 99 cents for them, but I do pick them up. These were the low rise straight Pismo fit, um, huge bell bottom at the bottom here. So I thought they were super cute. They were black. They were unique. They had these huge bell bottom legs, uh, 99 cents. So I accepted a best offer of 15 and I believe these were first class. Yes, they did ship first class. All right. I'm going to flip back over so you can see me. Okay guys. Thanks for watching. Um, and go, go. Thank you for watching guys. Make sure you hit that like button before you leave. It really does help the channel and utilize the comment section down below. If you have any requests for any videos specific about things that have sold, this is going to be a new reoccurring series on the channel. Once a week, I'm going to pick a specific item and just kind of show you a month's worth of that item that sold, whether it be plush jeans, yard sale finds, I'm going to try like the last week of the month or the first week of the month to do a what sold on Poshmark video to give you an idea of things we move over there. If you have any requests for anything you'd like to see a what sold video on, let me know down in the comments. Join our Facebook group, the link's in the description box for you guys. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. Until next time, guys, go be productive, go make some money, and have a good night.